Hey guys, it's Reviews and More, back with a quick review. This is on the Stealth Cam Trail Max cameras, and you see them right there, and you see the basic specs on them. And as always, before we keep going with the review, if you find this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me out. Um, so, first things first, let's talk about the basic stats on this particular item. Alright, so first things first, it is about 80 bucks for the pair. So there's are two here, so it's about 40 bucks a piece. Um, and what it's advertised is it is 16 megapixel and capable of shooting video at 720p. What you're going to see in the video itself, because I'm not even going to show you really how to program everything, because that's kind of explained in the box fairly well, and it's pretty intuitive. But one thing I will say, I had these out in the woods for about two weeks in the back of our property, and we get deer back there, raccoons, just about everything. And I could not get a decent picture out of them. You're going to see a demonstration of it being used inside just with the infrared just to see what it does but the only thing I can think of that would cause the amount of or just lack of success with this item has to be that there's it's got an inferior triggering mechanism for its motion sensor so whatever it uses for motion sensor technology must just be inferior unless the animal or in this case me um, walks in front of the camera like right in front it won't signal I had some luck with some crows, but it was daylight and it was pretty bright outside. Anytime around twilight or early morning, which is when you see a lot of activity from animals, you're not going to get much out of it. And unfortunately, this is an example of you get what you pay for. And I ended up returning them because I purchased them at Sam's Club and they have a generous return policy. But I got these online and shipped them to me. Uh, the, the coolest thing about them was the three-way card reader. That was honestly the best thing about them. I kept um, hoping that they would pick up something. I put out seed. I put out potatoes. I put out, eventually, I just grabbed a big old thing of dog food, threw it out there hoping to get like just raccoons to show up. Anything, really. I was just trying to get something to show up on the camera. But repeatedly, nothing, nothing, nothing. And every time I'd go out, the food be gone. So a good example with the dog food. I put the dog food out, waited two days. Dog food was gone. Animals ate it. There was something eating them, whether it was squirrels, anything. The cameras were right, were posted right where they needed to be, and I, there was just nothing there. It, nothing showed up. Not even a bird. I mean, it, it was the funniest thing. But um, and I can only assume that it has something to do with the um, motion sensor just not being adequate. Because and, th and that's my best theory on it, guys. I have to assume it's just an issue where it's not picking up whatever motion's out there. And when it's advertised as an effective range of 60 feet and the food I placed out there, and you'll see in a moment with the images, and you'll see two trees, and that's with a little mound at the bottom. That's where most of the food was placed. And um, I put out dog food at one point I did because I, I got desperate. I was like, I put out seed, I put out potatoes, anything to get just some animal action out there and we have animals out there we know we do we've seen them at night we hear them at night we know they're there and uh, we just couldn't get anything on these cameras and i realize i'm demonstrating how these cameras work while dogging on them pretty hard but um essentially they work functionally they're cool they're a good design they got a little tripod uh, uh screwing on them they got uh decent results here i mean but already kind of see that's they're calling that 16 megapixels that's that's not either there's a focusing issue going on with these both these cameras so they both have the same problems or it's just the manufacturer kind of playing fast and loose with some of the, that terminology megapixel 720p whatever because none of the results would qualify remotely as being HD or of any high quality really but yeah, this is, again, I'll say it again, this is just an example of getting what you pay for. Um, 80 bucks for a pair of these cameras. They're not wireless or anything, they're pretty simple. Um, they take 16 batteries, which is a little high. But here's just some basic results. You see an image here. Um, there's a crow on the trees. That's, that, that's basically what set it off. And this is why I put some seed out. So we got some activity, but obviously, mostly, these are daytime animals. And it's the best lighting you could get in the wooded area you're in. And... Um, this is the best results we got. And I was honestly a little surprised because camera technology just improved so much over the years. I thought that this would actually be relatively good considering like right now the big thing is wireless versions of these that connect either Wi-Fi or to a cellular, cellular network. But um, these just didn't do the job. Even you see these images, they're, they're calling this 16, 16 megapixels. And... Maybe it is, but it's certainly not in focus. And there's the, whatever focal focal distance on these cameras that there is, 
it's either not dynamic or it's just just set at a garbage setting but here you see the video and this will be the, around the exact same time because the same crow is being photographed here or video here but um this is not 720p this is this is out of focus and the cameras we're at a good location um and there you see him picking up the food there at the bottom of the screen but it's it's pretty pitiful honestly so um yeah skip these things guys don't uh, i'll put the link into it just so you can see where i pulled them from but you can avoid these like here this is the only night video i was able to get and this is after putting out dog food just to get anything to show up and still this is the best thing i think a bug flew in front of the camera and that was about it so again just skip these guys don't don't pay the 80 bucks for a pair it looks like a great deal but the quality you're getting is just so garbage it's just not worth your time wasn't worth mine, and please try to save it for yourselves. Have a great day.